Hello, I'm John Tibbetts, the president of Conestoga College, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to our college community. For almost 50 years now, Conestoga has delivered on our promise to connect the life and learning for the people and businesses across our community. Our education and training programs have made a tremendous impact. More than 110,000 graduates of full-time programs, many more through part-time and continuing education. Almost half the adults in our community have taken at least one course at Conestoga. But there's still more to accomplish and Conestoga continues to grow and develop new programs to meet changing needs. We work with industry and community leaders to make sure our programs address new directions and challenges and our graduates are positioned for career and life success. None of this would be possible without our dedicated team of faculty, administrators and support staff. Together we are building a stronger community. Conestoga is committed to ensuring the safety of all our employees and students. The, this orientation video provides an introduction to our safety policies that protect you, your colleagues, our students and campus visitors. I hope you will find it useful and informative. Thank you. Conestoga College is committed to maintaining healthy and safe workplaces and study environments. It is the policy of Conestoga to strive towards the elimination of workplace injury and occupational illness. Conestoga insists on compliance with the Ontario Occupational Health and Safety Act, as well as all other pertinent legislation that applies to educational institutions. Commitment by all individuals, as well as an atmosphere of cooperation and consultation, is vital to the success of our program. The Occupational Health and Safety Act construction regulations are the workplace laws in place in this province that ensure the safety of the employees, employer, and supervisors doing the work. Everyone in the workplace from the employer to the newest worker has different but important duties to keep the workplace safe. As the employer, Conestoga has the following duties. To make sure workers know about hazards and dangers in the workplace and how to work safely. Make sure every supervisor knows how to take care of health and safety on the job. Create health and safety policies and procedures for the workplace. Make sure everyone knows and follows health and safety procedures. Make sure workers wear and use the right protective equipment. And do everything reasonable to keep the workers from getting hurt or sick on the job. Additionally, supervisors have the following duties for health and safety on the job. Tell the workers about hazards and dangers in the workplace and show them how to work safely. Make sure the workers follow the law and the workplace health and safety policies and procedures. Make sure workers wear and use the right protective equipment and do everything reasonable to keep workers from getting hurt or sick on the job. As a worker, you too have duties under the Occupational Health and Safety Act. You must always follow the law and the workplace health and safety policies and procedures. Wear and use the protective equipment that the employer requires. Work and act in a way that you don't hurt yourself or any other worker. And report any hazard you find to the workplace and your supervisor. As a worker, you have three rights under the Occupational Health and Safety Act. The right to know about the hazards you may face within the workplace, the right to participate in the safety of your workplace, and the right to refuse any unsafe work. The Occupational Health and Safety Act OHSA, and regulations state that Conestoga College must have a joint health and safety committee at all main campuses. In addition, we have health and safety representatives at all of our other satellite locations. The function of the Joint Occupational Health and Safety Committee is to promote health and safety throughout all areas of the college and to encourage worker participation in making Conestoga a safe place to work. Committee members also act as a liaison between their co-workers, management, and the Occupational Safety Office. Committee members' names and minutes of the meetings are posted on safety boards throughout the campuses and can also be found on the Occupational Safety webpage. Communication is key to any safety program and as such, safety boards are present in various locations at all campuses. The safety board contains the mandatory posted materials as required by the Occupational Health and Safety Act. This includes the Conestoga Health and Safety Policy Statement, the Conestoga Violence and Harassment Policy Statement, Form 82 in case of injury at work, Safety at Work Prevention Starts Here, and the most recent JOHSC Meeting Minutes. 
Conestoga's number one priority is the safety of our employees. In Ontario, there are many organizations that are dedicated to the health and safety of workers in this province. The Ministry of Labour is responsible for enforcing the Occupational Health and Safety Act. Health and Safety Ontario provides occupational health and safety consulting, training, products and services for the workforce in Ontario. The Workplace Safety and Insurance Board deals with insurance benefits for injured and sick workers. The Health and Safety Centres provide health and safety training for workers in Ontario. As an employee, it is your responsibility to report any hazardous conditions or incidents that you are aware of or encounter. A hazardous condition may include a tripping hazard, unidentified chemicals, threat of violence, or any incident that did not result in injury but may have the potential to in the future. These are known as near-miss incidents. Report all hazardous conditions to your supervisor and or complete the safety concern report form found on the Occupational Safety webpage and submit it to your supervisor. The supervisor will ensure that the appropriate action is taken to address the hazard and prevent its recurrence. This will be documented on the safety concern report form. If the hazard cannot be resolved to the satisfaction of both the supervisor and the worker, the matter should be referred to a representative of the Joint Occupational Health and Safety Committee and or the Occupational Safety Office. All reports will be recorded and the worker will receive a response as soon as possible. All imminent hazards, conditions that could result in serious injury if left unattended, should be immediately reported to the Occupational Safety Office and the supervisor so corrective action can be taken without delay. For more information regarding the reporting and investigation of hazardous conditions and incidents, please refer to the Occupational Safety webpage. Work-related incidents consist of near misses, property damage, first aid, medical attention. Report all work-related incidents, no matter how minor, to your immediate supervisor. For minor first aid treatment, attend the first aid location at your campus. In the case of a serious injury, contact security services or campus administration and have a first aid responder attend to the injured person. If you believe the injury is potentially life-threatening, call 911 then contact security services or campus administration to assist you with directing the emergency response providers and securing the scene. Injury report forms can be found on the Conestoga College website under Campus Life, Occupational Health and Safety, Forms. This form can be completed electronically and submitted to the Occupational Safety Office within 24 hours of the incident or sent via email to safety at conestogac.on.ca. For further questions, please feel free to contact the Occupational Safety Office at the Dune Campus, 519-748-5220, extension 2295 or 2738. Various shops and labs within Conestoga facilities require different PPE, personal protective equipment. It is your responsibility to be aware of the PPE required for your area and ensure it is worn. This applies at all times, even when work is not being done. PPE signs are posted on all entrances to shops and labs that require PPE outlining what personal protective equipment is needed. Visitors to each shop and lab must wear the attire listed in the visitor PPE on the entrance. All facilities workers and contractors must wear long pants. If you require first aid assistance at Conestoga, please locate the first aider in your department. The certificates of first aid trained workers will be posted on the safety boards. Once treatment has been provided, you must fill out an incident report and submit it to the safety department. It is Conestoga's policy to have a smoke-free environment. Smoking is not permitted in any Conestoga-owned building or in rented facilities where Conestoga is the sole tenant. Smoking is also not permitted within 25 feet meters, of all entrances, air intakes and operable windows. Conestoga College has plans in place to handle various emergency situations. These plans can be found on the Conestoga website under Security Services. In the event of an emergency situation, it is important to be familiar with your work location and know where the nearest exits are. Upon discovery of a fire or explosion, do not attempt to fight the fire yourself. Sound the alarm by pulling a pole station fire alarm and then call security services from a safe location. You must follow the instructions of the fire warden, security, or emergency response personnel at all times. Leave the room you are in and close the door behind you. 
Calmly and safely leave the building at the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Do not return to the building until the all clear signal has been given by the emergency response personnel. Upon exiting the building, move at least 15 meters or 50 feet away from the building for your safety and to allow access for emergency vehicles. Heat and cold stress are caused by the corresponding extreme temperatures. The most dangerous effect of heat stress is heat stroke. If left unchecked, heat stroke can be fatal in the summer months or in hot conditions. Cold stress can lead to hypothermia as well as frostbite. Hypothermia is the dangerous overcooling of the body, while frostbite is the freezing of exposed extremities. During extreme heat, try to stay hydrated, and during extreme cold, be sure to wear proper clothing and cover any exposed skin. Clutter due to tools, materials, and equipment within the job could pose a severe tripping or falling hazard that could result in serious injury. Take the time to keep your work areas clean and free of rubbish or loose materials. Using ladders for various tasks within the job poses a severe falling hazard that could result in serious injury or death. Be sure to inspect your ladders before use to make sure that they are in safe condition. In order to use a ladder at Conestoga, you must have reviewed and signed off on the Conestoga Ladder Program. The Occupational Safety Department is responsible for administering Conestoga's Health and Safety Program and ensuring that Conestoga College is and remains to be a safe and healthy workplace. The safety office fulfills this role by investigating reports of unsafe work conditions or acts, making recommendations to the administration on how to eliminate hazards, developing occupational health and safety programs, assisting departments and schools in the development of safe work practices and procedures, advising all workers on requirements of the Occupational Health and Safety Act OHSA, the regulations and applicable safety related standards, conducting and coordinating training of staff on health and safety initiatives acting as a resource to the Conestoga community of health and safety programs. Lifting, pushing, or pulling materials or equipment can cause injury to muscles and limbs. Always follow proper lifting procedures. Get close to the load, bend your knees, get a good grip with both hands, keep your back straight and your chin up, straighten your legs to lift, move in the direction of travel, do not twist your back, and always get help when lifting heavy or awkward loads. It is a law in Ontario that all workers who may work with hazardous materials be trained in WIMIS prior to the start of work. Before you begin your employment at Conestoga, you will be asked to complete WIMIS training by the Occupational Safety Office. Once you have completed the training, sign the attached memo and return it to the Safety Department. All MSDS sheets can be accessed online at the Wellnet site. It is your responsibility to be familiar with the materials that you will be working with. Under the Occupational Health and Safety Act, all companies must have in place a violence and harassment reporting policy. If you experience violence or harassment, please report it to your supervisor. Violence, as defined by the Occupational Health and Safety Act, is the exercise of physical force by a person against a worker and a workplace that causes or could cause physical injury to the worker or an attempt to exercise physical force against a worker in a workplace that could cause physical injury to the worker. This could include verbal abuse, arguments, property damage, pushing or kicking, theft, malicious pranks, anger-related incidents, or throwing objects. Harassment is defined by the Occupational Health and Safety Act as engaging in a course of vexatious comments or conduct against a worker in a workplace. Engaging in this conduct is not welcome here at Conestoga. It is the policy of Conestoga that incidents of violence and harassment be investigated and reported, and if need be, the proper authorities will be called. I'd like to thank you for taking time to learn about the safety culture here at Conestoga College. At the college, we encourage each person's personal commitment to health and safety, both at work and off the job. It is our employees that make Conestoga what it is today, and it is our commitment that our employees live and work in the safest way possible. 
Please fill out your safety and orientation forms and return them on your first day possible. Welcome to Conestoga College.